Hi, it's Michael Pizer, and this is Trailer from Hell. The Hill by Sidney Lumet is one of the most unusual films ever made. It had the biggest star in the world, Sean Connery, who was James Bond, in a drama about five guys running up and down a hill. It's really a very strange existential movie that was released as a taut drama. And it was set in a British prison camp in 1940, during the war. And these five guys are taken in as prisoners. So it's sort of every prison movie you've ever seen with the tough commandant who happens to be their own guy, this tough Brit, played by Harry Andrews, and he's fabulous. It was set... It happened in, the movie was 1964-65, so it was an attempt to make a movie about uh, how you break out of uh, uh, oppression and order and how you eventually have to say no to authority and authority that doesn't make sense. So actually it was an important theme picture in what became the 60s. The Hill. So here they come into this Libyan camp, British camp, and there's Sean Connery, who is definitely was like the coolest guy to anybody in this era, but for some reason he decided to do this very... There they are, climbing up and down the hill. Now, what happens in this movie? They climb up and down the hill. This is a movie you have to sit and watch while they talk about walking up and down the hill, while they go up and down the hill. Uh, eventually, uh, there's, there's Harry Andrews, who's the tough dude who makes them all impossible and tries to break their spirit, but they are indomitable. Uh, you can see there's Sean being indomitable. And there's Ozzie Davis, who eventually takes off his clothes and walks off. Uh, in a very strong, there he is, he's taking off his clothes. Uh, and he finally says it isn't going to happen. And then, of course, one of the five prisoners uh, succumbs to the brutality, and it's very horrible. And they resist, and uh, Ozzy got uh, great notice for this movie. Sean, uh, people said, gee, why don't you go back and make more James Bond movies, which he didn't do. Uh, actually, he enjoyed this. And Sidney Lumet, uh, there's Sir Michael Redgrave. Uh, the cast is absolutely stellar. I remember watching this movie when I was a kid, and I didn't understand why I was in the movie theater and why anybody would want to watch it. I've watched it recently, and it's fairly compelling. Sidney Lumet is obviously the king. He had come from sort of the Playhouse 90 world. And this is Playhouse 90 in a Libyan desert. Uh, with a bunch of guys, instead of 12 angry men, this is five put-upon guys. And uh, really cool black and white photography, uh, cinematography by Ozzy Morris. Uh, a picture of its time that also contributed to uh, anti-authoritarianism, which was very important. Uh, and uh, it was shot on location and uh, apparently it was really as uncomfortable for the actors and the performers and the crew as it was for the audience watching it. But it sort of holds up. <laughs>